Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here as the recording of this. It is Thursday, October 13th, 2023. Starting off this episode in St. Cloud, Florida, a place that I used to live, just about a block from right here in downtown St. Cloud. Been a while since I have been on these streets. Now I've been in St. Cloud, but been a while since I've been right here in the downtown area. I'm gonna start here and venture off kind of around the perimeter, 30, 40 miles outside of town and just kind of see what I can find. I'm gonna meet up with a friend who I've not seen in a while. She is gonna go with me as well, and we're just gonna kind of wing the rest, wing the day and see, is that even a phrase? We're just gonna wing it. Starting in St. Cloud, and then just going out to some smaller towns, back roads, and possibly some forgotten communities. Join me, shall you? Fun fact about some of these murals, they are painted on the side, designating the history of the town. This here, the Seminole Land and Investment Company, shows the Hotel St. Cloud, which is over here. The first residents that lived here while their houses were being built by this company lived in the Hotel St. Cloud. There's a little placard right here. Now the Hotel St. Cloud is located right over there and it has been under construction for years, years and years and years and years. And it's all, it's all kind of tarped off and it has the, you know, the little, green mesh around it over there. I'll walk over there and show that. But I have these little information placards around which are kind of nice and describe that. I kind of wish that hotel would reopen. I would love to stay there one day. There's a lot of history in there. This used to be a bank and also used to be a library. Years ago, probably five years ago now, there was a big news in town that they were gonna build a skyscraper behind the Hotel St. Cloud. It was gonna be in that empty lot behind it and it was gonna be way up here. And I kinda had an, uh, uh, I kinda had a feeling that was not gonna happen, and that, that idea got scrapped. But it was big news for about three seconds. That clock right there is wrong. It says 9 a.m., it is 10.45 a.m. That clock is broken. It's right twice a day. It was also a heavy rumor for a long time that John Dillinger robbed this bank. It used to be the People's Bank, now it's a 10th Street Produce. I think that's been debunked. I don't believe that was true. Yeah, maybe one day that'll open. And anyone that's into ghost hunting, things like that, they will tell you that that hotel is haunted. I don't know if that's true or not, but I've heard that. Here's a picture of what it looked like back in the day. History. Right there. Oh, I wonder if this is still around the side. Oh, it is, I love this phrase right here. Let me live in my house by the side of the road and be a friend to man. And they are working on it. There is a worker up there, so there is some sort of progress, just slow going progress. Very interesting what is designated. Certain laws are more stringent. Perhaps we should try something a little more stringent. Yeah, look at this. This is, uh, that's hardcore right there. Hey, you don't want that. I mean, most places, it's just a simple slap on the wrist, but. Don't mess with this place. As traffic goes by, showing the water tower over there, and it looks like they're doing some photography or possibly some filming over here. That looks like one of those light, kind of light rigs right there. Many, many, many years ago, I lived in the apartment right over there. But before I lived there, I looked at these apartments that were in shambles at that point. It had been, it's been cleaned up quite a bit. There was also an episode of Superboy that was filmed out here. In fact, in that episode, you could see that little window right there. Just one episode that was filmed in downtown St. Cloud with Superboy standing right there in the villain in this area. And the name of that episode was Threesome, which sounds like it'd be like an adult film, but it wasn't. That's the Superman, Superboy episode. It was a two-parter. This used to be my apartment, right here. There's two apartments up here. The door was right there. Now they have the numbers on there. But that was my apartment. These two windows here, and then the windows around the other side. It's always nice to stop back by here. I used to sit right there all the time. Get off work, go get some food, go up there, watch a DVD or VHS, or I don't think Blu-rays were out then. Then I'd come back down here, sit right there, and I would watch the, some of the locals at the bar, used to be Big D's right here, walk out late at night, stumbling down the road, and a little inebriated. My band played in there a couple times too at Big D's. 
There's the water tower from here. Anyway, this isn't an episode about St. Cloud, but starting. No skyscraper for you, St. Cloud. No soup for you. I'm uh, kind of glad it didn't happen. It's supposed to be right here. Pretty ridiculous idea for a small town like this. If you know, you know. If you're local to this area, this place needs no introduction. Morse Market. Commonly referred to as Moore's Market, but it's technically Morse, M-O-R-S-E. If those walls could talk, or at least the exterior could talk, that place has seen some things. Might as well get a local signature blend. Piping hot caffeinated beverage. Oh yes, accomplished. Also kind of neat that they, they put what the stores used to be, like this do it best ha handyman hardware, it used to be cobbles hardware. And there's a little image over there, some guys on a truck or on a horse, and there's some ladders for sale out front. All right, in the car now, pulled off of 192, just past the Reptile Serpentarium. We're gonna drive and see what's back in here. There used to be like an RV camp back here. All right, I decided to just park my car right here, just off the road, about 20 yards off the road. I still want to drive through here because there might be nails. I'll be bumping into some people out here. I hope so. You hope so? Yeah, I need to make some new friends. Do you? Yeah. I need new friends. I don't like the friends I have now, so... You're talking about me? Yes. See, look, nails. Nails. Rusty nails. All right, yeah. our first relic of the past here. We gotta go in there. I'm not talking about the building, I'm talking about this bicycle. Here. Oh yeah, we could definitely check it out. You just gotta be careful with all these places because sometimes people will be squatting and living in them. I need a new So, so perfect example. I would imagine someone is probably living in there because you see the sheet that's there? Yeah. That is, that's been placed there since it was abandoned. So should we knock? I'm gonna zoom in on the cloth item. We could check it out. All right, you go first. Yeah, see there's like shoes up there that are like neatly placed oh, up yeah, on the thing. We can't go in there. Yeah, so someone's someone's living there. We'll just look from afar. Don't want to bother anyone. Oh yeah. There's even like a tent in there that's set up inside. So they have a tent inside that maybe the roof is leaking. So they're like half sheltered. Did you know this was all back here? Um, now I know. It's the end. Let's go through here. See what happens. See what happens. Yeah. I know what's gonna happen. What's gonna happen? We're gonna turn around. We're gonna turn around. That's the. You know the future. You're probably right. I don't think there's anything out here. At Maybe least down. There's water over here. Oh, there's a canoe of some sort over there. Yeah. Or a boat. Watch out for gators. I'm not afraid of gators. I'm not afraid of them either, unless I don't see them and I put my toe in their mouth. True. But I'm wearing shoes, so that should protect me. Look, there's a boat over there. This is like... Whoa. Something out of a horror film. Do you think there's somebody in there? In the boat? Yeah. Want to swim over and find out? I saw something. It's like a canoe or a paddle boat, not a paddle boat, canoe or a little dinghy. 
I'm hearing noises over there. It's not the bugs. You heard something too, right? Mm -hmm. something out of hatchet. Kickball. Okay, yeah, there's some tents back there too. There's a lot of bicycles out here. Yeah. I feel like there used to be a building right here. That one doesn't have wheels on it? No, that one or that one. That one's on both of these. Yeah, I feel like there was a building here at one point. There's a chair over there. Yeah, this is definitely a camp back here. There's a hammock. Yeah, this was someone's little this is compound. Mm -hmm. They even have a thing to They hightailed it though. Know? Yeah, the lawnmower. Yep. Yeah, I'm good on going back there. It almost looks like someone was gonna build like a little homestead out here with this lumber. They got the ladders out here. We didn't see anybody, but I think there was somebody in that first little, the first little house. I don't know what the heck this was. It's a roof? No, you know what that is? That's a couch. The back of a couch. Mm -hmm. You think you could eat these? You've seen End of the Wild, right? Yeah. That movie traumatized me not to eat plants. Yeah, don't eat anything. Because that did not end well for him. No. He's goner. Oh, yeah. He's goner. But you would think you could just eat anything that grows on a tree, but or a plant. But I don't know if you could eat these. What do you think that is? I don't know. Some sort of a berry? Do you know? Somebody took a hatchet into that tree right there. Oh my god. There's somebody. I mentioned the movie hatchet, and now there's a hatchet marks in that tree. That might be our sign we should probably just move on. We're trying to get the sap out of the bark. Look, you see the sap dripping down. I see it. They were trying to, to get the sap out of there. They're milking the sap. Can you eat sap? I'm asking a lot of questions about eating things that I probably shouldn't be eating. Could you use it as like a coffee creamer? You should go lick it. I'm not gonna lick it. I'm just gonna keep drinking my coffee with the little little cream of sugar in it. There's a mosquito on my leg right now, it's a mosquito. Ooh. All right, getting a little fuel up here. Florida gas prices, Central Florida, at least over towards Holopaw, $3. 36 cents a gallon. Here at this 7 Eleven Sunoco. Diesel's a buck more, but regular. 336. Cool. Down that. It is now raining. Maybe it'll cool down a little bit, or I should have brought some umbrellas. I got a hat. You got a hat? I got a hat too. We'll be fine. Have made it to Holopal, the Rain subsided for a brief moment. Whole Paul was a stop along the Kissimmee Valley extension of the Florida East Coast Railroad owned by Henry Flagler. I should probably introduce Beth Vandal. Oh my gosh, I was just reporting you. You were? Did you know I was behind you? You were reporting me or recording me? I was reporting you. Whatever you just said. Yeah, hopefully you can hear you with the wind. Can so you you're hear just, me? I can hear you. I can hear you. Okay, you can hear me. I have my hand cupped over the microphone here. So we're gonna go on a little exploration. Yeah. I uh, met you in St. Cloud. We drove through the rain to Holopaw, right over here near the Florida Native Spanish Mission area, near Unit 4. 
and we're gonna check out a chapel over here that's kind of fallen on a chapel that's fallen on bad time no. it's actually the other way oh yeah yeah it's, it's over no. here it's over here though we're gonna walk over there here. careful there might be snakes and gators in there and it looks like the sign has even been removed the crosses has been removed it's called the Jesus Miracle Chapel you can see a little bit of relics of the name of it over there. there used to be a big cross here there was a fountain here Years ago, I came by here and I talked to a guy mowing his yard out here who owned the property. He was taking taking donations to try to fix it up. He was over there. Now his trailer's gone. He is nowhere to be found. Mailbox is open. Except you can't get to the mailbox. There's this fence right here. I believe the backstory, there was a hurricane once that came through. One of the hurricanes a couple decades ago came through and tore the roof off. They tried to, tried to fix it up and it never happened. Oh, here we go. It's still, right here, this says it, right here. The Jesus Miracle Chapel. So I guess someone else has taken it over. I really don't see this ever reopening. If you had to place a bet, what would you say? You think it'll ever reopen? Um, yes, actually, I'm taking it over. You're taking it over? Yes. Okay. That's what you've been up to for the last few years, as yeah, I say to you. I've been planning this. Okay, all right. What have you really been up to? What have I, um, yeah, give me give, talk about what you've been doing. Say, give me a plug. Uh, well, I've been playing a lot of music. Yeah. I got a new band. What's the name of the band? A new violet. A new violet. Yeah. Like the flower. Like, like a color. Like the color. Okay. Like the flower. Like the whatever. All right. The feeling. A new violet. New violet. You can find me on Instagram. What's your Instagram? Well, I've got my Beth Vandal page. Yeah. I've got my new, oh. A new violet on Instagram for yeah. shows and stuff. I do, I have shows coming up. Uh, November 3rd, I have our EP release party coming up. All right. And the whole EP is gonna be released on it. So follow her on Instagram. Find her on Instagram. A new Violet. And then after that band thing, you're gonna rejuvenate this spot. So I'm doing that now. You're doing that now. That's yeah. that's the current project. That this is not That's not true, but the band thing is true. Yes. I was thinking about going over there, but I don't know if I wanna hop this fence. So we probably shouldn't. There was a sign right there. It's like really dilapidated and fallen down. I've always wanted to go in there. Let's go. You want to go in? Yeah, I do. All right, we decided to check it out. Figured what the heck. You led the charge and I followed. Right. Oh, there's been a lot of people in here spray painting. Look at this. Oh, that's so neat. Bart. Bart Simpson and Beavis and Butthead. Is that how you spell Bart? So there's a Simpson episode where he goes to a theme park and he was looking for like a keychain or something or a souvenir. And he was looking for Bart and all they had was Bort. Oh. So that I think is the joke. I love this. Eat my shorts. Okay. That's pretty good. That so people really have good. definitely been here decorating and putting their, their artwork on. Yeah, I hired some people. I don't ever know when to believe you, when not to believe you. <laughs> So the roof's been torn off. Oh, someone's put a nativity scene over there. Where? Check that out. The oh, painting yeah. just says nativity scene. It's just the words. That's it's actually it's not a nativity scene. It's just the spelling nativity scene. Right. This is good. There's not really a whole heck of a lot going on with this. I do not see this ever being anything. This is pretty much... I don't even know what you would do with this property. Probably just going to be bulldozed. Maybe we'll just stay here until it. Just I mean, falls apart on not a lot of shelter. I thought there'd be more in here than this. This is just an empty, empty building. Yeah. Looks like tire tracks. People have driven in here. <laughs> see? Yeah, I see it. What the heck? How do you get a car through? I mean, I guess you would just drive through. Know. Oh yeah, you could drive right in the back here. Let's go see what's in the back. You could play an impromptu gig here. Oh yeah, that would be great. You just, you know, it's kind of like the old rave day, except you don't, you don't play rave music. You what don't about, play. What about electricity, though? Do you play rave music? Yeah, that's what my band is. What would you describe your band as? Uh, I would say it's like pop punk. Nice. Rock music. That's a that's not rave. It's far. It's the farthest thing from rave. 
They just, there's gotta be gators in over there. Gators, gators. I never knew there was a neighborhood gators. back there. So that's it, that's the Jesus Miracle Chapel. And I must say, this place really needs a miracle. Kitty sucker. That's a big piece of like a well, like a rusted out piece of well there. And you got the mushrooms on the side of the, the branch there. Got the tile work down here. Got a random tire. Looks like the rain is rolling in again as well. Yep, sprinkling. So this is Highway 192, St. Cloud's that way, and then Kissimmee another 10, 15 miles past it. If you continue this way, you go over to Melbourne and the coast. But we're gonna go back this way and then cut up that direction, see what we can find. I'm not gonna go over to the coast today, but maybe at some point. Yeah, that rain's rolling in, we probably should get back to the car. Any, ga any gators in here? Oh, you got the brick down here too. Watch out for that. Very nice. And before pulling away from here, I wanted to show the organization, which I guess is still trying to renovate it. For anyone interested, check it out. Punta Norte Iglesia. Did I pronounce it right? I mean, I definitely don't have the best inflection, but that's where you can find information about this place being renovated. And if it ever reopens, I will visit it. I don't know if it will, probably not, but you never know. I just wanted to, to mention that there is someone out there doing their due, due diligence. All right, moving on. This is kind of neat. It's an old general store. You see the gas pumps used to be right here. And there's even an old ice ice cooler right there. I was passing by this, so the road we were just on was down there. It almost looks like this used to be like a motel or a hotel at some point, because you can see back on this gentleman's property over there. Is an old accommodations there with the man. He's all, he's over here sitting out, sitting out in his chair. Said I could get out and take a photo. He's resting over there. You know what used to be here? What? If you had to guess, what do you think was was here, way I, back in the day? I feel like that was a ceramic gargoyle. Probably not a ceramic gargoyle, so let's... Okay, think about this being a thoroughfare. Back in the day, you pull over here to get little snacks and things, but then you needed something, and you'd pull up here to get it. So this is probably like an original little stop here for gas pumps. He's going back in. I was gonna talk to him, but... He didn't wanna talk to us. That's fine. He said I could, he said I could film. I just didn't want to be interviewed. No, nah, probably not. There's thrift here. store stuff in there? Yes. Oh man, I wish it was open. I know, right? I like the old truck he's got over there. The classic truck. I don't think it's open though because they have this up so you cannot go in the door. Don't take a dump here. Take it easy. Pretty neat. Look at the old wooden slats there. There's a mud dauber's nest up there. This is kind of weird. Look at all the bottle, bottle caps. I've never seen anything like bat bottle caps that are like in the concrete. That's cool. Look at these old bottle caps here. I guess you'd put it into the cement mix. That's a big one. Oh, that's not in the cement mix. What do you think that was? It's an old gargoyle. All right, this is awesome. There's an outhouse there. I really wanted to talk to that guy, but he hightailed it. 
Yeah, he did. He was nice. Very nice. But I wanted to talk to him. What's in there? It is open, but I don't think I want to open because that gentleman owns this. Okay. You can't go, you, can't, you don't want to go past. Oh, you got to have written permission. I've never seen a sign like that that says written permission. Look at this Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade motorcycle over here. That's great. That is great. Super great. Yeah, it always reminds me of Harrison Ford and Sean Connery in it in that type of vehicle in Last Crusade. My whole life is based around movie references. Well, it's a lot of my life. Even though I've only seen like one one hundredth of movies. I've seen a couple though. What is that? You've seen Indiana Jones in the Last Crusade, right? I'm um, pretty sure. Yeah. Sean Connery sitting in a little wheel well there. With a little sidecar. Oh, this is a company that sells sidecar motorcycles. There's only one for sale though. It says yeah. it right up there. I mean, when do you ever see those on the road? Rarely. Classic sidecar motorcycles. Never in all the years that I've lived in this area have I ever noticed that that says Holopaw on the side of the roof. That's the greatest thing ever right there that I, I got really excited. That is awesome. It's the little things. here. I think it's just numbers. I can't tell if it's letters or not. And then up top. An antenna. Pre-satellite dishes. You use these antennas to get television. It's fascinating because that definitely over there was some sort of like a motel. Had to have been. It's a, like a nice little compound he's got out here. There's someone on a scooter just went by. They're staring at us. It's mostly just trucks out here now. Continued on about four miles. This is very interesting. This is a little rest stop right here. You got this truck stopped off over here for a moment, working on his engine. Illaha. Illaha Station has a one lone concrete picnic table. I would guess no one's had a picnic here in a long time. We didn't bring any picnic supplies, so we won't be having one either. But this thing's solid. So where's the railroad track? The railroad used to run through. The railroad doesn't run through, through here anymore. Like let's, it went through there? Or? Let's take a look. Once part of Henry Flagler's Florida East Coast Railroad, Nittaw Station was a stop on the railroad that ran from Weewahooty to Okeechobee. Nittaw became a sawmill town. So this is a ghost town. It used to be a ghost town. This used to be right here. That's the Nittaw Station. It's pretty neat to think about. Illaha. And Illaha was a turpentine operation located near here on the Florida East Coast Railroad owned by Henry Flagler. It had a post office in 1923. It was closed in 35. The mill closed after the pine trees were closed down or torn down. There's no railroad tracks left, but it probably was over there. If you continue to follow this, sometimes you can see some of the railroad remnants. So if we see anything as we're going that way, I'll point it out. Got some citrus, dro citrus groves over here. Citrus trees. Oranges, possibly. 
Probably oranges. I think they are. You think they're oranges? Yeah, they're definitely oranges. Just a random rest stop here. We're now turning onto Old Post Office Road, which I would imagine, I've been to the Keenansville Old Post Office, but I've never taken this road to get to it. And kind of like the John Dillinger robbing the bank in St. Cloud rumor that has never been completely factually checked. Some say the Heartbreak Hotel is where Elvis stayed when he came up with the idea to write the song, Heartbreak Hotel. But I think it's just a clever name. We need to stay there one day. Turning here onto North Bow Street, which is where the old post office is. It's technically not on Old Post Office Road. It's a half a block up from Old Post Office Road. It's on Bow Street and South Canoe Creek. Now in all the years I've been in this area and passed by this probably a half dozen times, I've never seen it, anyone in here or it opened. So we're gonna go inside, see if we can get a look around inside, across from the First State Bank. You know what? It wasn't a post office. That's the bank on the corner over there. Wait. Where was the post office? It probably was at Old Post Office Road, which was over there. Oh. The post office is gone. That makes sense. That's what happened. It's a bank. I can't tell if this is a residence or an office. I think somebody lives here now. All right, that explains it. There's it's a private answer. office. No longer functions as a hotel. I will not be staying here. I'm heartbroken. I'm heartbroken. I'm heartbroken at the Heartbreak Hotel. I always wanted to go inside this building. Me too. They should call it the Heartbreak Office. Wouldn't have the same ring to it. The song wouldn't be wouldn't be quite as exciting. The Heartbreak Office. Look how long this street sign is. <laughs> That's a massive street sign. That's a long word. All right, so we're going to go back up here a couple blocks, take a right and head to Yeehaw Junction. Someone renovated this a few years back and every time since then I pass by, this is never open either, or either, either or either. Oh, I just lost my hat. Oh, there you go. It's very windy out here. There's a tornado a coming. Dated 1914, this is about the tower down here. I love here. this place, I want to go there so bad. Yeah, they have the guest book there. So it's never been open all the times over the years I've come by here. Trying the door. I want to go in the Heartbreak Hotel and I want to go inside the old bank. Look at this. Got some little mementos here on the desk. An old phone. Peeking through the window there, you see that old airplane model there? This is cool. What are you doing? I was looking at myself. In the mirror, that there's, close there's, to the- There's a mirror in there. Oh, there's a mirror I'm in there. saying hello. Okay. <laughs> I always like the dragon lights up here. Wow, I've never seen that. It's like wrought iron. That's like it's an antique right there. One day I'll go in here. That in the Heartbreak. I want to stay at the Heartbreak Hotel. I'll just stay in the office. Play all the tunes all night. There is the Keenansville, Florida Post Office. 34739. The zip code. There's, yeah, literally no one on this road. And this is a, right out here. the NR Family Ranch has a train car over here. Can't get to it, but it does have a train car. Look at that.
So I wanted to point out a piece of the old railroad, kind of like a maintenance shed that was in there way back in the day. They cleaned it up and painted it, but this is where the railroad went by. There's a bunch of these on this road. So right in front of that, or behind it, is where the railroad went by. Probably in front of it, right where that fence is there. They fixed it up though, it's still in good shape. Now made the commute over to the former Desert Inn. Used to be a sign right there. This place always reminds me of the Bates Motel, at least this section. Stopped off here a few times, stopping off here again. Every time I come back by here, which is every year or so, you know, I think I was here by four or five months ago, I went out of Miami and I stopped by real quick. But even since then, it's even in more disrepair. See, they busted in the windows over here. Watch your, head, watch your head on that glass. Yeah. I stayed in one of these rooms back when the Desert Inn was open. This is like a long time ago, 10 years ago. I stayed in that room down there. It was quite the experience. Somewhere. What the heck? I had no idea. I thought it was parked here. I didn't know that it was broken down. What the heck? It's like a full, full truck tr cab here. A lot of trucks pull through here. I guess that one just decided to pull over. It didn't end well. It's like, it's like a horse something out of a horror film. What happened to this driver? I am amazed they have not leveled all this. Yeah, I believe it was either this room or this room I stayed in. Ah, memories. Very windy out here. So this is on the National Register of Historic Places. The National Register sign was removed. Someone either stole it or salvaged it. How is this thing still standing with all this wind? I had heard a rumor that this was bulldozed a few months ago and that rumor obviously is not true. Obviously not true. Oh, they even took down all the fences. Okay, so yeah, they put fences all around it saying keep out. They have come in, the company that put the fences up, they've removed the fences. I think that was a Garth Brooks album, No Fences. Or someone came in and stole the fences and used it. Look at this. No, the truck smashed into this. So a truck of that size drove through this intersection and smashed into this at full speed in the middle of the night. Were there people in there? No one was hurt, as far as I know. But right here was where the National Register of Historic Places sign was. That has been taken. They just broke the whole historic sign off of there. Some say this place was also haunted. I did a video where I stayed overnight here. Ate in the diner in there. There's an old Tom's machine. Look at this. Chip machine. Got the oven up top. This was the bordello up here. This was actually a bordello at one time. And this is the closest I've gotten into this in a long time. It's been damaged years ago. 
But now that they've removed, up oh, you lost your hat? You lost her hat too. It's windy. Both losing our hat. <laughs> Very gusty and windy out here. Yeah, it is interesting now. It was like keep out, keep out. They had all the fences up. Now it's just open to the elements and to anyone that just wants to walk around. I guess they decided we're not going to keep anybody out, so we won't even try. Yes, they are open. Now this place is not structurally sound, so we don't want to go too far in, but. Oh, you can actually go in here, okay. Let's go. Just gotta be careful of the roof. We don't want to go too far. So here's the restrooms, the ladies, the men. Here's the speaker where people would sign their names. This is back when it was open. Hey, didn't they have something in the ladies' room? Like a, some weird they did. I don't doll remember. or something? Yeah, I don't or remember what. Cowboy. There was something in here. Let's look. Hello? Eh, nothing in here. Nothing in here now. Just the toilet. Oh, the toilet is intact. The toilet's intact? Yeah. I mean, looks like a bathroom to me. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, that wind blowing the roof. Oh gosh. Probably shouldn't go any farther than this. Yeah. Because that's all caving in. Mm -hmm. So here's the bar. The kitchen was back there. The food wasn't the best, but I did eat here from a while back. I believe they had, like a lot of bars do, they had the dollar bills all along the top. Those are all, of course, people come in here and grab those. Oh yeah, for sure. Smash the glass over here. Yeah, just picture an 18-wheeler truck full force right into that. Yeah, you can see where all the dollar bills were pinned up there on those little push pins. All along the roof there, just hundreds of push pins. That's the kitchen, kitchen back there, yeah, that's where the kitchen was. I'm gonna classify this place as not structurally sound. Not safe to walk really any farther than where we were. Losing our heads out here. Just hold it. Yeah. He just likes to hold it. Yeehaw Junction, formerly called Jackass Junction. Then they changed the name. Here's one piece of fence that someone didn't steal. This old bench. Glad that no one's tagged this up yet. This was painted back in 2011. Oh, that is creepy. What is that? There's a doll up there. A real doll? Oh, doll? Yeah, see it? Yes. Oh my goodness. I think it's a reindeer. It's a reindeer? Yeah. I think it is. Look at this like electrical thing up here. It gives them like Blair Witch vibes. Dangling on top. <laughs> yeah, this used to be the stairwell to the bordello. If these walls could talk, you could tell some tales. Kind of like Moore's Market in St. Cloud.
Why is this, this still stuff dangling? Is... Why is it left here? I don't know. It's weird. Just come in here and tear it down. But who who would want to tear it down? See. It probably won't be torn down until someone buys this property to build something else. Can you eat those? See those over here? No, I don't think you can eat those. Don't eat those either? Don't eat them. Don't want to have an enter the wild moment? Yeah, no. Not today. All right, moving on. It's starting to rain again. All right, we have veered off. Is that an alligator in the road? It's a branch? Yeah. It's moving its tail. All right, go, go closer. That's a gator. If that's a gator, I'm gonna be so happy. Maybe it's not a gator. From here, it looks like a gator in the road, doesn't it? Yeah, it's a branch. It looks like a freaking gator. <laughs> it's a branch. It does look like a freaking alligator. It did, yeah. Okay, it's just a palm tree leaf. Darn. Okay, we have to take an alternate route. We're taking it. That's very bumpy. We had to go around. Try to take a different route back to St. Cloud, but yeah. Go through access. Let's turn it around. Man, from a distance, that looked like a freaking alligator. I'm so disappointed it's not. I am too now. All right, we found another road that's going to lead us, I think, back to the turnpike that goes to St. Cloud. And on both sides, on my side, is water. So there's probably might stumble on a gator out here. Over on your side, you got some water. Lots of water. There's a bird down below. It's not a gator. <laughs> no, we're going to see some gators through here. I think we're going to see gators. This is Gator Alley. Or Alley Gator Alley. Alley. Gator Alley. <laughs> looks a like bird. there's been some rain through here. We're going to get some more rain. It's all flooded. Go, bird, go. Go, go. It's all flooded out here. Yeah, I'm definitely going to keep my eye out for some gators. Why in the heck is there a bus down here? What the? Are they giving tours through the middle of the swamps? There's like no one out here. Mm -hmm. And then just a random bus. Big the foot is confused. Some of Big the Foot's relatives probably live out here. Be a good area for Sasquatch to hide. Why is there a full bus out here? Or was there? That was weird, right? Yeah, that was weird. We almost saw a gator in the road and we just saw a tour bus. No one out here. There's nothing to do out here. Maybe that's the tour. They're like nothing to do to her. Alright, we got some horses over here. We got a horse feeder. Well, actually, it looks like the horse is attached to that, and then they walk around, they spin that mechanism around. I think that's what that is. That looks like torture. It has a purpose, a purpose. for it, but I don't know what the purpose is. Make horses walk in circles? Yeah, walking around. There's some horses. Maybe we'll see some cows oh, out here. Oh, look at the little one over there. There's a little, little tiny horse. Okay. A little horse. Those are Arabians. Those are Arabians? Yep. All right, pulled over here, made it back into St. Cloud. It's raining now. Raining on the ice machine. Raining on the vacuum over there. Coming down, looks pretty nasty. And that's going to do it for today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. It seems like the clouds kind of sort of cleared up. It rained a little bit, overcast a little bit, sunny a little bit. Confusing weather. The vlog is over.